Alright, what's going on guys? Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Clash Clans gameplay commentary. And today, as I said yesterday, my Proud Gamers War recap video, it is Proud YouTubers. So let's first, before we actually start commentating about this, um, both clans, this German clan that we were facing and us, we both used all attacks, all of our attacks. Um, but one of the guys left from our clan, clan named Chaos and... Um, so we couldn't use 40 attacks, but we did use 39. So everybody that was in this war, except the person that left, used every single attack. And I'm actually proud of that, because most other times we have never actually used all our attacks. So this is the first war, besides the guy that left, we, we all used the war attacks. So anyway, the German clan as well used all of their attacks except one. So it was 39 attacks for both of us. So it was a fair game for both. Um, coming into this war, it was actually pretty tough. So I'm going to explain why it was tough. But first of all, this first raid is by Novak. And this is towards the end of the, I guess, war. And we needed some desperate stars so we could actually keep um, the game ahead of us. And, you know, desperate times called desperate moments. And we really did need the two stars, a two star here to get an extra star. So it was a very, very close raid. Um, so their bases were actually pretty uh, strong. Um, not too strong, like, but um, our players did have a couple. We, we actually had six or seven fails. No, I'm not even joking, guys. We had like seven fails where we actually could not either. It's, it was a one star or we just failed. And... I couldn't believe it, like we failed that many times on this clan, last war we are, uh, we actually failed only like once or twice, this war I counted at least 6 fails from my clan members. Um, so it was tough luck for both of us, but the German clan as well made as many mistakes, if not more as us. Um, but anyway, this defense actually, um, they attacked manual around 3 or 4 times, my base got attacked 2 times and defended, it's an anti-hog and anti-dragon base and it got barely one star with max golems and witches so uh, my war base is amazing i actually have a new war base i will show you guys later in my later videos but anyway this is the defense right here by Daniel. that's actually going to depend if we win the war tie the war or we lose it so um very good job by Daniel. um good defense this is actually one of the few defenses besides Steven Mains, which is towards the very end. And their leader, because we were all going crazy towards the end of the war. Their leader from the German clan had Go Wipe, I think, trained. And he, um, our top three guys, because the first guy we had, Big Head, he actually left. But his base could not get two-star because he had Infernos, so, um... And it was just very close, and the, their leader went for our fourth guy named Steven Main. You guys will see that later, and that actually depended the most if we were going to win the war or lose the war. So, this is my second raid, and this is like in the middle of the war we where we actually needed to get stars up because they were getting close, very, very close to catching up on us. So, we, we actually did mirror attack, and uh, last war everybody did mirror attack, and this war, and it's actually a very very effective strategy if you guys don't do mirror attacks i would definitely recommend trying it it's very very uh it works for the most part um but I th tech and i switched our mirrors so because i was number three i i had to take number three but he was number six so we flip flopped um because number six was pretty easy i definitely i easily two star number six um so for some reason every single war i cannot two star with go wipe or go weeby i think those strategies are a solid two star for even high level bases, but to get three stars on a very good base, it's for me at least it's hard because I'm not very good at attacks. So yeah, but this was pretty easy base to actually attack, not too hard. Um, the problem here I was running, well I was thinking is running out of time. So look at the giant bomb that just that just destroyed like a hundred of my skeletons. So. Anyway, I was actually, uh, again, like, nervous of the time, and since there was only one wizard tower and so many skeletons alive, I really did not worry about splash damage, so once the queen took care of that, it was just fair game, and I did use the ability, so I could speed things up pretty quick, but anyway, that was a solid 
three star by me and we really did need the three stars there so anyway this one is by tech and like yesterday's video i said um i'm going to show what one of our guys did this is one of the most effective strategies i've ever seen in clan war and i want you guys to take a very close look at this so i gave him a level four golem because i was just trading golems pekkas and wizards for our guys and it actually did help him a lot so looks like he sends out his golem a couple wall breakers his king and his queen so looks like his king is going to destroy that air defense so that's one air defense down he's got three lava hounds i believe um 20 balloons or something like that i can't really see but yeah i think he has three hounds um so he sends his first one in and there's a seeking air mine that's gonna pop up and shoot the hound down pretty quickly those wizards destroy the hound as well but luckily tech has enough time to destroy that air defense so good job um yeah he had three hounds so there we go he drops two hounds right there just to soak up extra damage from um the air defenses and the teslas and the wizard towers so luckily this guy had his expos pointed down which you know it helps but it's not a big deal into um his strategy so there we go he's going to clear up all the buildings so a very good job to uh tech that was an awesome three star the strategy he uses is amazing i forgot what the name of it is actually called but it's a very good strategy and i might try it one day so um very very good strategy he actually attacked their top second player and he almost three starred um he just made a, a couple of silly mistakes in his raid and um, overall that strategy he uses is very very effective so good job to tech that was a nice three star so the next one we're going to go to is actually the last within 10 seconds their leader attacked one of our members below me was steven main and i couldn't watch it and every, everybody that could watch they were saying oh crap they're attacking us and at this point we were ahead by one star and from our clan members chat i was just like well guys we lost another close war and you know what um you know we're just gonna have to face it that we lose another close war um so and at the least we tied it so i really did not want to tie in this war but anyway looks like this base is actually anti go wipe and you guys will see why so in a second there he goes with a jump spell this player and look at this the pekkas go around the base yes if the pekkas would have went inside the core right there that would have been devastating possibly a two star and probably a one star but possibly a two star and that we would have lost the war so this guy drops the rage spell and a heal spell just to be desperate and try to get the one star but does not get it so unbelievable here we go guys here's the score 46 to 45 we just managed to attack and beat them we used all of our attacks and that defense by steven main that just counted if we were going to lose tie or win the war so very good job to every one of our members that participated um we actually have some new members so next week we're probably going to do a 25 versus 25 war we're gonna have to see how that rolls out but yeah 46 to 45 the closest war i've ever been in clan wars i'm not even lying this is just the closest cl war i've ever been it's ridiculous so anyway this is just a quick video and this is the war chat right after it ended we were all just going crazy kind of childish but you know we had to celebrate it in one way and obviously i was going to record so everybody was going crazy and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video um unbelievable i couldn't i honestly didn't with so many mistakes we with so many mistakes we actually made it's unbelievable that we actually pulled the w i can't i just can't believe it um with like at least six or seven mistakes we made in the in all our raids that's crazy but anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe if we could actually smash 45 likes I, th I think we can smash 45 likes easily but since you guys are awesome and i love all of you every single one of my subscribers um which you know yeah but anyway if we could smash 45 likes that would be awesome and again unbelievable war we pulled a w and everybody was just going crazy 
But yeah, if you could smash 45 likes, that would be awesome. And this was just a good war. So GG to everybody and proud YouTubers and proud gamers. And um, yeah, I'll see you all on my next video.